It's official. The launch of Samsung's Galaxy S23 series is mere days away. The launch date is set for February 1st in San Francisco. We already have our invites and we'll be there in person to bring you all the latest juicy news and updates. Samsung is also offering a $50 Samsung.com credit if you reserve now. Of course, that might be hard to do if you haven't seen the device or know nothing of it. Thankfully, the internet is a treasure trove of information. Obviously, all of these are leaks and should be taken with a grain of salt. That said, a lot of these leaksters are pretty accurate and have a great track record. So, in this video, I figured we'd take a look at everything we know about the Samsung Galaxy S23 and perhaps give you a reason to reserve one. Let's begin with design. Based on these renders, which we have based on multiple different leaks, the S23 series will look very much like last year's models, hinting at a more iterative year of updates. The phones will all be roughly the same size across all three variants, the S23, S23 Plus, and the S23 Ultra. With a slightly rounded but mostly flat frame and flat front glass, except on the Ultra. Even its color choices are the same as last year. Supposedly, the official colors will be called Cotton Flower, which has a beige-like finish, Phantom Black, Botanic Green, and Misty Lilac. The main difference is that unlike in previous years, where the camera modules had a bump that kind of melded into the top left backside of the phone, like last year's S22 Ultra, the S23 series won't have a camera bump. Instead, the cameras will just protrude. Not sure how I feel about this. It's winter in New York and I haven't seen the sun in days, which is why I'm counting down the days till summer where I will be using this video's sponsor, Ampere Dusk, a lot. Ampere is known for making a whole range of tech accessories, but these might just be my favorite. They are a pair of smart sunglasses dubbed Dusk. It comes in a classic Wayfarer design and doesn't look or feel bulky. Now, what makes these glasses special are electrochromic lenses that lets you adjust the tint of the lenses whenever you want. There's a hidden button over here on the left frame that lets you toggle between four tint levels. You can also pair these sunglasses with the app and adjust the tint via your smartphone. From here, you can make them darker. I recommend you use the app because from here, you can adjust the darkness even further. Let's see that again. Light dark. On the app, there's also a way to save presets. So let's say I'm running errands, for example, I can have it set to somewhere midway. Or if I'm doing something outdoorsy, like hiking or going to the beach, I can make sure the lenses are as dark as possible. But let's not talk about the beach right now. I think I'm about six months away, unless I make a big trip sometime soon. Now, if you're like me and tend to misplace your sunglasses, you can play a sound so they're easier to find. Like many smart sunglasses in the market today, that means they also have built-in audio. So you can pair them with your phone and listen to music, podcasts, or an audio book. I'm currently listening to Prince Harry's Spare. Of course, you can also take calls if you need to. If you want Ampere Dusk, they retail for $2.99, and this charging case is a separate $69. Just make sure to use our code GADGETMATCH20 when you check out for 20% off your order. I'll put all the links down below. Now on to specs, and here is what leaksters are saying. The S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra will have a 6.1, 6.6, and 6.8 inch displays respectively. More or less the same as last year, except for newer, tougher Gorilla Glass Victus Gen 2. Battery sizes are rumored to be bigger on the S23 and S23 Plus versus last year, with the Ultra still topping off at 5,000 milliamp hours. What users in Europe and Asia might be excited about is that for the first time ever, it seems that this is going to be the year where Regardless of where you live in the world, you will be getting a Snapdragon powered phone and not an Exynos one. The S23 series will be powered by Qualcomm's top of the line Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. Now let's talk about cameras. 
here is the leaked spec sheet. If we're just comparing specs, then it looks like hardware-wise, the S23 series is getting the same cameras as the S22, with only the Ultra getting a new 200 megapixel main shooter. This isn't a red flag, it happens all the time that manufacturers use the same camera hardware as last year with software and ISP improvements on the SoC making up for it, but we'll have to wait and see. Most likely that 200 megapixel camera is using Samsung's new ISO Cell HP3 sensor, which in a previous marketing video promises tetra square pixel that mimics pupil dilation, merging 16 pixels into one for better low light shots. Super QPD autofocus with horizontal and vertical face detection, staggered HDR, and 8K video recording at 30 frames per second. While we won't know till the end of the keynote event, the consensus is Samsung will not be raising prices of the S23 series this year. Last year, when updates were even more significant, they also did not increase prices, so let's keep our fingers crossed. To refresh your memory, here is what US pricing for the S22 series was. So that brings us back to the beginning. And while it feels like there really isn't more that you need to know about the S23, I'm sure Samsung has a lot left to unpack. See what I did there? <laughs> Galaxy Unpacked, at least the first one for 2023, takes place on Wednesday, February 1st in San Francisco. If you're already decided maybe this is your year to upgrade, then I definitely recommend taking advantage of Samsung's Reserve offer. It runs from January 10 to February 1st, right before the pre-order page goes live. Samsung is offering a $50 credit if you get one device and a $100 Samsung.com credit if you reserve two. This is a no commitment offer, so you don't need to put money down. You don't even need to leave your credit card. You just have to say, I want a phone. I want to reserve one. Here's my name and my email and my number. Hit reserve and that's it. And you can cancel that reservation anytime. And that's everything the internet says we need to know about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 series. Are you guys excited? Because I surely am. It's the first major smartphone launch of 2023 and Samsung is going to set the bar really high for everyone else. If you're excited, let me know down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. We have a lot more Samsung Galaxy content coming your way. Make sure that bell notification is clicked so that you get updates as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff, including sample photos. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.